Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Saint Tropez One Hour Hydrating Tan Express Self Tanner. So, I'm super, super excited about this because I have tried a couple self tanners that had that kind of like gel consistency and I absolutely love that. I kind of, I don't know if I'd say I prefer it over a mousse, but I really, really, really love the feeling of this. So I'm really excited to try this out. So before we do get into all the details, trying it on, all that fun stuff, make sure to give this a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already means the world to me. And if you love self tanner review videos or makeup videos, then you definitely want to make sure that you subscribe and don't miss out on three uploads a week. Yes, three. So subscribe. But if you want to see my review of the new San Tropez Gel Express Self Tanner, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay guys, like I said, I'm really, really excited about this because it's a new consistency at San Tropez. I was really, really excited when I saw that this came out. And the fact that it's an Express Self Tanner, not just a regular one, super excited about that. So if you guys saw my other video of the San Tropez Regular Express Self Tanner Mousse, you would know that I wasn't the biggest fan of that one because I felt like it didn't really give me much color. So I'm hoping that this one does give me a lot of color. It says it takes three hours to get a dark result. So just looking at this little chart on the back, it says for one hour you get a light color, two hours is medium, three hours is dark. So of course we're gonna keep it on for all three hours. Basically, in front, like on the front of this bottle, it says Saint Tropez Self Tan Express One Hour Hydrating Tan Bronzing Gel. And then it says it's 6.7 fluid ounces. So like the standard size of a self tanner. On the back, it says our most advanced and fastest acting three in one gel provides up to 72 hours of hydration. Wow for a natural looking streak free tan that lasts up to 10 days with even fade. That sounds amazing. I really hope that's true. And then it says this lightweight wearable non-sticky gel glides on instantly lifting skin with its translucent guide color that doesn't transfer. That's interesting. Uh oh, what did I get myself into? Infused with hyaluronic acid, the advanced three-in-one technology allows you to select your desired shade of tan by choosing when to rinse off. Cool. Basically, that's it. For like the application directions, it's pretty much the same as every other self-tan application, to be honest. And then it also says it's clean, vegan, friendly, natural tanning active. Awesome. And then it claims no self tan smell, but we know how that goes. Typically there is somewhat of a smell. I also have it pulled up on Sephora, so I don't forget to tell you guys the price. So this goes for $44. It is a little bit on the pricier side, I would say, but that's pretty typical pricing for San Tropez self tans in general. It basically says the same thing on Sephora for all of the application stuff. So I'm not gonna repeat myself. I think we are ready to start applying, honestly. I think I covered everything I wanted to in regards to whatever it says on the bottle. I do like this applicator that I will say. I like how it's a little pump, so it's just gonna make things a lot easier. And if my face looks a little darker than the rest of me, that's because I already put a facial self tanner on. I don't wanna put this on my face, so I used one of my facial self tans, and this is gonna go everywhere else on my body. We are just gonna get started now on the application. I'm just taking a random mitt that I have, and I'm gonna apply this like I would any other self tan, so let's get started.
All right, so I've applied everywhere that I wanted to show you guys the application for. So far, I do love the consistency of it. I feel like it was so easy to apply and to spread out and just everything. Like I really, really liked how the application was. And then the smell is pretty much exactly like every other Saint Tropez self tanner smell. It's like a subtle, like, I don't know how to explain the smell, but it's subtle. It's not a strong smell at all. It still feels a tiny bit sticky, but nothing too crazy. I'm hoping it'll dry down in a couple minutes, so we'll see about that. Another thing though, I think it said on here that it's translucent, like it's a translucent color guide. Yeah, and I would not say that it's translucent, just to be totally honest. Like I definitely think the color guide had a color to it. It was like this like olivey, olivey brown color and I absolutely loved it. I feel like it just made applying the self tan so much easier. Other than that though, I don't really have too many thoughts for right now because it is just now being applied. But I'm gonna keep this on for three hours. I'm gonna wash it off right before I go to bed. And then tomorrow, once it has fully developed, I'll come back and show you guys the final result and I will give you guys my final thoughts on whether or not I think it is worth your money. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. All right guys, I'm back. It's the next day and I definitely have some thoughts about this self tanner. So I'm sure as you can already tell, or maybe you can't tell, I don't know, for me personally, I am just going to say right away that I feel like I didn't get too much color from this self-tanner. So I want to first say that I absolutely love Saint Tropez and they make some of my favorite self-tanners in the world. Like the Saint Tropez and Ashley Graham collab self-tanner is like my all-time favorite self-tan ever. And then like the extra dark, not the express tan, just the regular one. Love also like up there with my top favorite self tanners. But this one for some reason just like didn't stick. Like the color didn't stick on my body. Like last night, I let this develop for three and a half hours. So I kept it on a little bit longer than it recommended to. So... I kept it on for three and a half hours and for those three and a half hours I would say I was looking pretty dark like when it got to like that three hour mark I was like damn this is gonna get me dark and then once I washed it off I was like <gasps> all the color just came off so I was like shocked to be totally honest like I definitely think I got color from this I'm not like totally totally pale but just like from what I saw in those three hours with like that color barrier, I was expecting a lot more color than what I actually got. So I'm just a little, a little bit disappointed with like the lack of color, I guess. So is it my favorite? No, I definitely tried better from Saint Tropez. And then another thing that I wanted to point out is I love the consistency of this. Like I love the fact that it's a gel. And a little goes a long way with this stuff, you guys. Like, you do not need a lot to kind of spread out on each part of your body. I almost feel like I was putting too much on, so I had a lot of, like, excess that wasn't blending in. But everything looks really even. So nothing is, like, splotchy or patchy or anything like that. It's a really, really even tan. But you really do not need a lot in each place of your body. So I feel like this is going to last a long time, which I really, really like about it. But I just feel like it was really, really sticky the entire time that I had it on for those three and a half hours. Like every time I would put my legs together when I was laying down and then like pull them apart, they would literally like, like peel off of each other. I know that sounds weird, but they literally were like stuck. And it was like that slow-mo kind of like when something is really sticky. Super, super, super sticky. Like this is probably the stickiest self-tan that I've tried. So that I wasn't really a huge fan of. Like I'd prefer for it to like not really feel like I have something all over my body. 
so that I really didn't like. The smell was really subtle and it just kind of went away, like died down after a little while. So that didn't bother me at all. That was fine. Overall, I think it's an okay self tanner. I think if you're somebody that likes a more kind of light natural self tan, then this might be good. Like you could keep it on for the three hours and you'd still get like a really natural tan. But for me personally, being someone that really loves like a dark, sun kiss like just walked off of the beach after a seven day vacation kind of tan this is probably not it for me like i feel like i definitely could have got more color and i almost am tempted to put another self tanner on for like a few hours like an express self tan just to darken this up because it's definitely a little bit light for what i personally like so yeah i would probably say that this gave me a really similar result to the mousse version of the express tan it, they're just different consistencies, but they basically gave like the same kind of color. I think those are my thoughts. I don't know if I would consider this one a winner. I definitely think it's still an okay self tanner, but I've definitely tried better, especially from Saint Tropez. I feel like there are much better self tans that you can buy from the brand. If you're someone that likes a subtle self tan, then I feel like you might like this. But if you're someone like me who really wants as much color as possible, this might not be the one for you. So. That's all I have for today's video, I think. <laughs> if I'm forgetting anything, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Also in general, just let me know what you guys think of the tan. If you think I got dark enough, just all your thoughts, I love to hear it. Make sure to give this a big thumbs up for me if you haven't already and please subscribe to my channel. I post tanning videos once a week and then makeup videos twice a week. So you get three things from me every week. You do not wanna miss out on that. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next video.